welcome i'm parshvika welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about the female stuff like the self-care reproductive cycle a lot more well today video it's really a special video because i'm gonna talk about you are a queen or every other female out there is a queen like how to actually understand this reality and how to create your own life as being a queen now uh, this may be a gender specific video related to the females but regardless of any gender you are still the creator of your life whether you are a king whether you are a queen or whatever it is you are the creator of your life as long as you are a living being so let's dive in give this video a big thumbs up consider subscribing for more such videos so you can visit our website simplewaves.com the link is in the description box below you could very well grab the self-care planner specially dedicated to female it's a pdf download based on my experience you can download it you can fill it out the link is in the description box below anyway guys Let's dive in. You are the queen or every other female is the queen. I am the queen. Now, how you can justify the statement? What exactly the queen is? The queen is who's actually created a life, who is actually dictating what she want to do, how she want to live her life, who's having a luxurious life and all that goodly goodly stuff that we see in movies, we see in the histories and all that stuff. So. Uh, regardless of how much money you are having in your bank account or what your circumstances are or where you are living in the world, it doesn't really matter. You are still a queen. Now, how to utilize this power of being a queen, of being a creator and achieve your dream life or do whatever the heck you want to do. So I'm going to be talking about some things that I'm practically doing in my own life and I think that this will be going to really help you. If you believe in the manifestation, uh, like manifesting your dream life, then this will going to be really easy for you. If you don't, then I want to tell you guys, whether you realize it or not, you are manifesting your life, okay? Whether it's autopilot, whether it's consciously, subconsciously, whatever it is, you are creating your life. You are making the exceptions of the life or the situations or the people or the things and those things reflect in your 3D world or in your physical world. So whether you realize it or not, it doesn't really matter. You are creating the things. Most of the people are creating the things on autopilot subconsciously. They are just assuming the things in their mind, in their head, out of the habit. And they are still doing it. And then they are getting all those things. And they are telling, hey, I told you that this will going to happen. Hey, I thought that this will going to happen. And now you can see this is happening. Okay. So that's what the case is. You are manifesting your life, whether you realize it or not. Just like a law of gravity where everything is pulled down, similarly the law of attraction works. Whether you believe in it or not, it is working for you, it is working for everyone on this planet Earth. We are all going to be utilizing this power of meditation, power of law of attraction, the power of the laws of the universe to be actually creating our life consciously, not on autopilot. We are intentionally creating our life based on what we really want in our life, Regardless of the situation, age doesn't matter, sex doesn't matter, color, skills doesn't matter. As long as you're living being, you are creating your life. So this is a little bit intro. The people who don't know exactly about the manifestation of the law of attraction, now we're going to go into the good part on how to actually intentionally create your life and become a queen, become a really intentional queen of your life. First thing first is to know what you really want. Uh, as it may sound very simple, it can be simple for you. It may not be simple for you. You don't have to figure out your next 20 years or 30 years or entire lifetime what you're going to be doing right now in this moment. No, 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 no. You don't have to figure it out everything. You just need to know exactly what you want. Okay. You just need to know. Uh, I want to travel. Simple. Okay, you don't need to complicate. I'm going to travel to England. I'm going to travel to London, Australia and all like keep on com making it complicated. No, just know exactly the simple thing. What you really want. just know what you're going to be doing in the next moment. If that makes sense. The thing you need to understand is about one example. <laughs> 
let me explain you you see the farmer is planting the seeds in the soil and that seed is actually converting is actually growing into the plant and giving the flowers fruits and leaves and all that stuff now you would be thinking i already know this what's new about it let me tell you guys the new thing is that likewise the similar you are manifesting your life you are creating your life you're actually planting the seeds in your mind, in your heart, in your life, and then you are getting the fruits or flowers or leaves from that particular seed. You have to have faith. This is something really getting out of the corner for the people who is listening to the first time. They're going to see how I'm going to believe in that reality when my reality is this, how I'm going to believe that I want that, how I'm going to reach from this to there. It's not your job to know how. Your job is only to know what. How, when will going to be come eventually with time you don't need to figure it out how to reach there or how to go there because if you would be knowing about how to go there you would have done it have to ask other people how to reach there since you don't know it because it's an unknown territory so you don't need to figure out how to go or how to do it like farmer knows that this seed has been planted in the soil that will going to go into the plant eventually and he has the faith or he she has the faith that will eventually gonna give me the flowers and fruit what exactly the process look like or how it will going to happen it doesn't know exactly the process he only knows that i need to put the water to the plant or water to the seed or give some food or nutrients to the soil or something like that and it will going to eventually grow up and make a plant likewise you need to water your dreams you need to give nutrient to your uh dreams to the seeds of your dream how you're gonna do it by having faith so that's just the second tip about is understanding this seed concept so deeply inside of you so that you can very well dictate how you're gonna create your life the third thing i have for you is you have to focus on watering the plant like watering the seed and watering is having faith that this will going to happen this is a thing it's in the process it will going to show up in the physical world and it will going to happen you have to have faith you have to practice this faith and it doesn't come overnight if you have been living your life on autopilot creating your life on autopilot it's eventually gonna take some time to know what how to have faith another thing or another tip i have for you you have to be a vibration match to your dream now this may seem counterintuitive for a lot of the people they would be thinking what is a vibration what is a frequency let me give you a simple example if you have ever been use the radio you might have heard about the concept of tuning into your radio to a certain frequency to listen to a particular radio station likewise there are so many frequency around us that we can't see from our naked eyes but they are there they are present okay so when we tune ourselves or when we move to a certain amount certain level of frequency or when we go reach to a certain frequency we attract all those things that are available in that particular frequency so if you are in the low living frequency or low frequency, you're going to attract the negative stuff. And if you are have on the high frequency mode, you're going to attract all the good things in your life. And your dreams are on the high frequency. Now, how to match your frequency with the high frequency? I mean, how to reach that is to just feel good. <laughs> Simple. Now, how you got to feel good? Do the things that you love doing. Just love yourself. Cherish yourself. And I want to tell you, just do things for you. Just do things that you love doing, that you enjoy doing, no matter what's happening in the physical world. Because if you are feeling good, you're going to reach your dream life. If you're not feeling good, you are in the negative state, you're not in the high vibe, your frequency is low, then eventually you won't be attracting your dream into your life. If you want to attract your dream into your life, you have to be at the high frequency. It's, it's something that you can say as adding the nutrient to your seed. Uh, watering was the part of the faith. Like you have to have faith for works as a watering to the seed. Now for the nutrients, you have to be at the high frequency. That could work as that way. Like these two things you have to do literally for anything that you want to achieve in your life to be a queen of your life, to be a creator of your life. So another tip i have for you is practice being in the high vibe in the high frequency just do things for you this is very simple ask yourself what i want to do in this present very moment what makes me happy what makes me feel in the zone 
do the meditation yoga spa hair salon nail salon whatever it is that makes you feel like i love this thing i love this feeling it takes to be your like sometimes for me just to be around in the nature doing nothing literally for half an hour i'm not doing anything and just sitting in the nature and i love that feeling the other thing that you could add to this layer of feeling good is just be good to yourself okay don't scold yourself every single time you made a mistake we we have a habit of scolding ourselves like we have a kid inside of us we have an adult inside of us and that adult is always uh, scolding that kid don't do that you made that mistake you are always scolding yourself you are one of your biggest enemy if you recognize or not you are one of your biggest criticizer so stop doing that stop saying sorry for the things for the mistakes that you have made that doesn't mean you have to keep on repeating the mistakes i'm not saying that but stop scolding yourself be nice to yourself okay be good to yourself like how you going to treat your lover how you going to treat a baby how you going to treat the person or a animal or someone who you love the most how you going to treat them you going to love them all your love to them the same thing you have to do it to yourself this is important guys and regardless of your manifestation is coming into the physical world or not it will going to make you feel amazing you're going to feel so 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 great trust me you're going to feel amazing in the beginning it may feel like you're faking or doing something ridiculous but eventually you're going to feel amazing you're going to feel in the zone i hope these steps makes any sense let me know what you think in the comment section below but what uh, sometime going to the low vibe due to the situation or the people or circumstances pull yourself again back into the high vibe by focusing on the things or uh, in your surroundings or in your situation that are amazing or literally just be nice to yourself look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself i have a beautiful eyes beautiful nose lips ears hairs like just compliment yourself in a good way okay you have to keep on practicing these things and eventually you being in the high vibe will going to help bring your dreams life into your world into your physical world and you're going to see the things opening up the doors opening up and the situation working all well for you and you're going to feel like everything is working for me i am the luckiest girl in the world or i am the luckiest human in the world you're going to say all those things to yourself and eventually you're going to feel a lot of the big changes happening in your world it will going to take some time okay these things doesn't happen overnight because you used to be in that autopilot creator mode and now you are consciously creating it so it will going to take some time and you're going to go back to your original state or back to your old state so you're going to pull yourself back to the new state so there're going to be push and pull method applied over here because you're going to go back to your old state and you're going to pull yourself again to the new state and this thing will going to there you have to practice it and once you see that you are becoming fluent in that like most of your majority of your uh, vibe or your frequency is high then eventually the things will going to opening up hopefully this video will going to help you become a creator of your life become a queen of your life so you are already the queen of your life you're already the creator of your life uh, but you have to move to being intentional creator from autopilot hopefully you find useful let me know what you think in the comment section below i'll going to see you in the next video till then take care bye guys